what is going on guys so today's video is basically a prep day getting the trailer ready getting the car ready going to get an alignment here in a little bit got to make sure I have all my tools beverages you know fuel nitrous all that good stuff for a day of racing it is only Wednesday but Thursday is the open house at the Freedom Factory and Friday is roll racing and then Saturday is racing I don't believe I'll be roll racing but I don't know I definitely won't. I, I won't roll race I don't like roll racing sorry sorry anybody who likes roll race but streetcar takeover this weekend and uh, we will be head headed there so after a couple weeks of just letting it kind of sit this is the amount of a uh, turn I can get out of it before it hits. You can see it's very close to hitting, but that's a lot of turning radius still before it hits the box. That is a ton of turning radius. It just clears it. And it take a real lot to hit the, uh, to hit the light there. It only take a little bit to hit the step, which isn't too bad. That's just a plastic step. It's just like an insert too. So even if I did hurt one of these steps, it's really not too bad, but it takes a lot. So all that space, still a good amount of turning radius. I mean, if you're doing that to your trailer, you're already kind of in a predicament. That's a, uh, that's a near jackknife situation. But yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. Pretty excited about that. That means that these tools in here will get to stay. Obviously it's a little scary. I'll have to be a little more careful, but that's uh, pretty normal. You should be careful when you're towing a race car on a trailer anyways, or towing a trailer in general. Well, the truck gets a bath, but unfortunately the Camaro most likely will not get a bath, nor will the Tahoe, which very much so deserves one. Just the truck. Tough break, Camaro. All right, in typical streetcar fashion, off to get an alignment. No nitrous for this uh, this alignment, unfortunately. Be nice to use it on the street. It's always fun, because the nitrous lights the turbo right away. I miss having my center mirror. It only made it, not even one pass. It made it like 10 feet. Maybe. It may not even have made it that far. Basically, it traveled the length of the car the second I let off the trans brake button, and that was the last we saw of it. I need to put it back. Well, just got back from uh, the alignment shop, Superior Auto. They always say good care of me there. The car was super out of alignment, which is kind of how I expected, because I could tell when driving it and on the big end and, you know, everything that the car just needed an alignment really bad. Things happened. I don't I don't know exactly how it fell out of alignment from when it had the LS in it, it was aligned. And then throughout the course of being at three different shops, ride height being changed, so on and so forth, the alignment just wasn't the same anymore. So fresh alignment, really excited because it felt kind of sketchy on the big end before. So hopefully this new alignment will help. But other than that, it is ready for this weekend, and it's ready to go faster now. Hopefully. We changed a few things. It's a good amount of things changed, and I'm really excited now to run the car. Well, the F-Body's getting a uh, detail by a professional F-Body detailer. Sketchy Vert came by. He was uh, jonesing to clean a pewter F-Body. I was jonesing, man. That's yeah, money, had to do it. This guy knows what he's doing. He's not getting the parachute. He's being gentle to not get inside because he knows how they leak. <laughs> <laughs> hard I cleaned my car one time and I got in and I was like, why is there a puddle on the ground? <laughs> so Jared knows that I'm bad about cleaning my cars. So yeah, I was like, that needs help before streetcar takeover. Yeah, graciously came by to detail it up before the event. It's my pleasure. 
Very kind of you. <laughs> Guys, guess what? I got a haircut. But aside from that, it is race weekend with the Camaro. Yes! Freaking love racing. <laughs> so race weekend starts today. It is only Thursday, but we are heading out to the Freedom Factory for Cletus's uh, open house that he's doing. Big grand opening, soft opening. I imagine it's gonna be a pretty large opening. Car is ready to race this weekend. Today is just a car show though. Gonna bring it down, park it up, polish it off a little bit. Sketchyver got it all cleaned up for me yesterday. You know, clean it up, and then um, race it. Race it uh, Saturday. Look at how good she's looking. All cleaned up, ready to go. The alignment on it is so much better. It drove so good on the way back. They fixed the wheel gap all around because it was just, it was bad. It was really bad. So fixed all of the alignment issues. Got the truck loaded up. This thing is packed down. Basically all red back here. Couple nitrous bottles. Got four of them with me for this weekend. The Tahoe is getting loaded up with merchandise. Can try to open up a little booth tonight. And this weekend, just, you know, have some fun. And then, side note, on uh, Sunday, we get to watch the uh, local team, the Bucks, win the Super Bowl. Not really into football, but I do like supporting my local teams. All right, just gotta finish loading this thing up and we will be off. I will see you guys all tonight. It has been cold. So Henry's eating inside today. What you doing, buddy? It's too cold out here for you. You don't want to come out. I know. Oh, that was just stepping on my arm and knocking my GoPro out of my hand. She's such a brute. Big head. Yeah, they have a huge grapefruit that they've been playing fetch with for the past day and a half. I even had to put a second heat lamp in Henry's house for him. I'll show you guys. It's up top over there. I think you can see it. Yep, two heat lamps. The wiring's just kind of uh, zip tied up there. He's doing good though. He's living life. Go in front of the car. All right. All right, is my 1999 Camaro RS. I don't even know if it's an RS. <laughs> I'm a bad Camaro owner. Uh, well, we made it out to, uh, what do we call this? I was about it's to not say like Cletus, Cletus and cars. cars. <laughs> right, I was about to say Cletus and Cars. I mean, Cletus is here, there's cars, <laughs> Freedom Factory, soft opening. I don't feel it's gonna be as soft <laughs> as that implies, but. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. I think it's gonna be a lot of cars. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. And doing car show things today. Yeah. Uh, you know, set up my chair, sit in front of the car, Mm -hmm. As soon as anybody comes near it, I jump up and start telling them about it, <laughs> whether they're soliciting the information or not. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. We're going to unload this thing, pull it down, set up some merchandise, yep. you know, feed the people in a way. Yeah, it'll be fun. And have some fun, yeah. <laughs> guys bright and early after the awesome open house last night at the freedom factory grand opening soft opening whatever you want to call it it was really fun time so cool to get to meet the fans out there oh, my lens is fogging up we're back so cool to get to meet the fans out there i didn't even pick up my camera i was just talking to people and hanging out enjoying it try to do that as much as possible sure there'll be plenty of coverage of it from uh you know, Project Prime and all those guys, and there'll be a lot of coverage of the cars there and everything. I just wanted to uh, 
meet meet people, talk to people, enjoy it. I had my merch booth set up. It's a good time. I'm so glad that we were able to do that. Today is day one of streetcar takeover. So I'm gonna bring the Camaro over, get it teched in, get all uh, set up and ready to race first thing tomorrow morning because they're starting right off in the morning because there's a chance of rain tomorrow night. So we're just getting right to it. So I have to be uh, basically ready to go by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. But that'll do it for this video, guys. I really don't even know what we covered. Unfortunately, I did not get to finish my uh, tank in the back because all the parts didn't come. So the burn down tank will have to be saved for another day. It's fine though, because I've run it plenty of times with the catch can set up right now. Just something that we will be improving for the future. But guys, that'll do it for this video. It's kind of just a short one, just to keep you guys updated, to keep on the uh, three videos a week grind. Hope to see you guys all out at Streetcar Takeover this weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Keep it saucy. I'll see you next time. Oh, also, if you want to go watch a little bit more behind the scenes stuff, a little bit more of um, the family stuff, check out our other channel, Bogetti Bunch. I'll leave it in the description below. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Bronte's been filming most of it, and she does a lot better of a job at filming a lot of the stuff that I'm doing than I do. So if you want to go check out more of us, go check out the other channel.